warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by Shane Nolan. And here is what happened when I caught up with him. Shane, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? Oh, it's a pleasure to be here finally. It's been, uh, we've been thinking about it for a while, haven't we, Hayley? So it's nice to be we finally have. here. It's nice to finally yes. put a face to the name. It's lovely to meet you. Yes, it's good to have you here on the show. And what have you been up to? I know you did something fabulous, didn't you, with the NHS and Blackpool at the weekend? Yeah, I was a backstage host. So you didn't. all my family came to watch, you didn't get to see me, but I was there in spirit backstage. So I was interviewing all the contestants <laughs> as they come off. I was interviewing oh, some of the Strictly judges. It was, it was actually really, it was really well done. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, oh, to be honest. Yeah, Amazing. I know, exactly. So every cloud. But yes. yeah, no, it was lovely. It was really good and uh, deserved winner. A lad called Adam, he was brilliant. Oh, really good. Love that. And uh, I saw that you are out gigging again now, aren't you? Which is great news. Yeah, finally. Being locked indoors for nearly two years. So it's been nice to get back out. Although June's quite quiet, but then uh, July and August, obviously we start the tour and me and the band, I think we've got something like 42 gigs in six weeks. So it's, it's going to be mad. Yeah. Yes, love that. Well, it's good to be back. And so yeah. we're going to go into your first song choice, Shane, uh, Drops of Jupiter by Train. Why have you chosen this one for us? Right, so there's a bit of a story behind it. It's always been my favourite song. I've actually got, look, I've actually got the, the lyrics over my chest here, you see. Oh, OK, of, of next song. level. Yeah, right. and basically when I met my future wife, my fiancé there, Maddie, Aww. I asked her what her favourite song was. And this is nobody's favourite song bar mine. And she said, Drops of Jupiter by Train. And I was like, you're winding me up. No chance. So then I knew I was going to marry her there. And then as soon as she said that was her favourite oh, song. I love this. Yeah, it's a true story. That as well. People think I make that I up just not... for ours. Yeah, I was going to say, are you sure? <laughs> but that's actually a true story. It's actually a true wow. story, yeah. I know. Madness. How, how can we beat this story? That's absolutely amazing. And that this one is going out to both of you. Enjoy. how everything started Shane because am I right in saying that you were a blue coat yeah. at Ponton's Green Sands I actually did go on holiday there one year well more for you than me <laughs> I think <laughs> I mean what year did you go because I may have been a blue coat what year I thought you looked familiar oh. I'll be honest <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how was that experience? Because actually it's hard work being a blue coat, it's, isn't it? Do you know what? It was one of the tough, it, probably the toughest job I've ever had. Um, and I've had some dodgy jobs, let me tell you, but it was the toughest job <laughs> I've ever had. But it was the most rewarding. Like, it wasn't about making money. It wasn't about saving up. It was about learning your craft and learning how, being the person I am today. I mean, yes. it came about in a shocking story, if you'd like to hear. If you oh, really want the truth, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, Like, you know, on, skirt no around it and look like the nice guy. No one's the watching. actual truth... Yeah, no one's watching. The reason I became a blue coat, and this sounds bad, it sounds very male chauvinistic of me, but my dad was male chauvinistic, and it was because of my dad. Oh, and I, there was a chapter in his book, there was a chapter in his book that's, this is terrible, but that he said he slept with a thousand women, so I thought, oh. I'll have a bit of that if he was oh, a blue coat. Oh, we've and really I've dropped the phone love, now. <laughs> yeah, I've, really, I've learned to love this job, but I want you to know that the reason I got into this was to pull women. Yes, it's shocking <laughs> really, isn't it? But if I hadn't done this job, I wouldn't have met my future wife. That's how I see it. So That's so true. Do you know what, Shane? You started so well with your lovely story, oh, no. and we've gone there already, but at least you're honest, and we like honesty <sighs> on this show. Yeah. So You've thank you for that. Thank you for that. We're going to go into the first song that you ever brought at five if you're getting down absolute yeah. tune isn't it yeah big and big and i got to perform they were like my first band and i got to sing with well the three or whatever they are now there's only three of them but i got to <laughs> sing with them so it was, uh, it was a big moment for me yeah i got to sing with them at a gig oh. we were supporting them so it was great i loved it wow do you know all the dance moves and everything i mean now you're pushing it but yeah no okay. yeah, i mean yeah but i'm not gonna do it if that's what you mean <laughs> I tried, I tried. Well, we're yeah. going to play out the tune and we'll see you after this. Now, I want to talk about your new show, All Singing, All Swinging, with Ray Quinn. We love him. Uh, what can we expect from this show, Shane? What can you expect from All Singing, All Swinging? Uh, do you know what it is? It's, it's, it's loosely based, well, I mean, it is based on the rap pack. So if you love the rap pack, you love swing music, oh, yeah. then you're going to love this show. Um, so if you love all the, you know, the big hitters, the big songs, the Frank Sinatra, oh, Dean yeah. Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. stuff, you're going to love it. There's other stuff thrown in as well. We've got a full live band. We've got three dancers. It's just going to be a really good show. And I think it, it's just going to be so nice to have people in a theatre again and enjoying themselves. Oh. 
it's, it's the music I grew up on. My whole family brought me up right. on Frank Sinatra and that sort of vibe music. So it's a pleasure. To, and especially with Ray. Ray's been a good mate of mine since we were, he was in Brookside with my auntie. Say, yeah. Yes. Small so world. I've known him, known him since we were kids. And then he obviously, did the, he absolutely walked that dance on a nice show with my mum, which was out of oh, order. He should have given her a chance. He? Yeah, it was just a bit rubbish. <laughs> So you can imagine me, I was a blue coat at the time and I used to go down and watch him and go, what is going on here? I can't, I can't even roller skate, let alone ice skate. So it was... I know. He's a He's joke, just incredible it? when he does his split jumps on ice. I'm like, yeah, how is that Yeah, and there's a part of me that really wants him to come on rollerblades as, as thick as Frank Sinatra and do a split jump. I'm going to see if I can get it into yeah. the show. Yeah. why not? I think it's only fair well, for the fans. Yes, exactly. Well, I'm going to come and see the show in September because it's coming to Portsmouth, to the King's Theatre, uh, which is a theatre very dear to my heart. Um, oh, nice. It's just wonderful. Didn't, you didn't know that. I mean, but I, I'm glad you knew surprise. that because I am useless with dates. So, yeah, come see it in Portsmouth, well, what said. <laughs> everyone come and see it with me on the 3rd of September. Yeah. We're going to go in there, watch Shane and uh, hopefully see some uh, rollerblades uh, from Ray Quinn. Yeah. You never know. I'll it try might my happen. best. <laughs> well, we're going to put uh, details on the screen below of how you can get tickets because it's definitely something we want to see. And we want to all get out in the theatres again, don't we? I saw your dad in Jamie. He's amazing, by the way. Yeah, he's good. He's currently in the West End at the minute and he's going back on tour. Yes. He's phenomenal, isn't he? Yes. It, he's just, he's, isn't he? He's very underrated, my old man, I must say. Very <sighs> underrated. He's, he's, a, he's a brilliant legend. actor. Yeah, he's a brilliant performer. Yeah. I mean, don't tell him he's that. Please everything. don't show him that. I like to keep yeah, him grounded. He probably so. won't be watching. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, your next song choice, Shane, uh, She Will Be Loved, Maroon 5. Why this one? It just brings back... I, well, I still think this is one of the best albums of all time, songs about Jane Maroon 5. And this song, it reminds me of being on holiday when I was younger with my co my best mate and my dad and my family. Aww. And it was just a real... I know it sound, that sounds like it's a really emotional holiday. It wasn't. It's, the whole album, I just had to pick one song off the album, but... Yeah, this one is, uh, it's, a, it's a banger. It's always on Smooth FM as well. They love this song. Oh, I love, they it, love Smooth. it, Oh, yeah. We love it here on the show. Uh, Peak to number four. Uh, it should have been number one, shouldn't it, this song? Well, when number you see four. what's being number one at the minute, you're like, oh, all the songs that missed out on number one, including, you know, there's a tune coming up later on that we can talk about. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. But, I mean, you know, it's what it is. It's, I think this will be a bigger song than most number ones that have been, so... True story. Well, here it is. Uh, Maroon 5, she will be loved. Enjoy, and we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Now, Shane, we have got a quick fire question round for you. Oh. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, OK, OK, OK. <laughs> Psych myself up for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, OK, driving song. Oh. Is there a song that you just put on? Life in the Fast Lane, The Eagles. Tune. A uh, song that you most like to perform on stage. That I like to perform at End of the Road, Boys to Men. Oh, tune. Yeah. Yes. You weren't expecting that, were you? I wasn't from me. expecting no, that no, one. No. We need to play that now on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, hungover song. Is there a tune that when you've been out one night that you just put on just to kind of cope the next day? <laughs> God, it could be anything by Enya. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I like? That Bruno Mars one's good today. I don't, you know that. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Oh, yeah. Very yeah, appropriate words. But, but, I mean, that's just describing my life, I think. But sometimes, <laughs> do you know what? Sometimes classical music just oh. mellow you out a bit. Yeah, I'm an old, I'm an old soul that up. Ah, and uh, dance floor song. If you're out and you hear a certain song, do you just put your drink down, hit the dance floor? No shame. God, there's a few of them. I've got oh, to be honest. Dear. There's a few of them. But I'd be going back to 70s. I love Earth, Wind and Fire, September. Oh. Anything like, yeah, I grew up on the 70s because, and, and you know, anything by Michael Jackson as well. As soon as one of his beats comes on, you're like, let's have it. Shirt could be <laughs> off here by the end of this song. We're having it large. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for Shane on the night out. And motivational yeah. song. Is there something that just gets you through the day and you're like, yes. Yeah. Boom. Um, do you know what's funny? I, it was on my, you know, my list of tunes as well, but New Radicals Get What You Give is, is, is also, is one of them tunes that just inspires right. you and it gets you going. Yeah, one of them like tunes. that. Well, uh, we're not going to play that. We're going to play Westlife, which I was no, really well, happy. I should, well, I mean, well, well, I didn't I know. In. I should have gone in with that link there and gone, you know what, actually, you've got it. Westlife, World of Our Own, that one. Why this song? Um, it's just, um, me and my brother, we did a tour with the Nolans when we were younger, and it's just one, it's, it's, there's a couple, I mean, Westlife have got a few, but this is one where, this is a banger. It's just a banger. Oh, and we, like I said, once again, I perform this song and no matter where you go, no matter if you're having a bit of a rubbish gig and you do this song, 
Everyone loves it. Love a bit of Westlife, especially yeah, when they get off the stalls and start singing. That's oh, like yeah, my favourite bit. Oh yeah, the key change. The key change. Oh yeah, yeah. The kings I can't of cope. It. Kings can't of cope it. with that. Uh, this is number one in the UK singles chart. Enjoy Westlife, and we'll see you after. We have got some questions from some of our lovely At Home with Hayley viewers. Here we go. Uh, Emma here we go. would like to know, here we go, uh, if you could have a dinner party and invite three people, lucky yeah. people, who would they be, Are dead we, or alive? Dead or alive. Well, one of them yeah. is my ultimate hero. If I'm a big Man United fan, it'd have to be David Beckham. Oh. Just to stare at, look at him, I think. Oh, dreamy. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, get, I'm getting married to my fiance Maddie, but I... <laughs> I still think I might for David. <laughs> um, uh, who else would I have? I'd have probably, I'd love <laughs> Prince. I love Prince's yeah. music. I'd have Prince. And then I'd probably have, as a world leader who took us through World Wars, Winston Churchill, Ooh. somewhere like that, and just have a chat with him. Yeah. yeah why not? See what he was like. I mean, yeah. great dinner party. Like it. I mean, I've made them three up on the spot. I mean, if I'd have really thought about it, I'd have gone a bit more. But <laughs> yeah, You've offended a lot of people here. Everyone's like, yeah. where's my invite? <laughs> And, uh, and I've kept it all male as well. I've you kept have. it all male. That's you just have. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Lads, lads, lads. Me, Prince, MJ, me, Prince Beckham and Churchill. Squad what goals. Lads do, that'll be. <laughs> Amazing. And Pete would like to know, who's your hero? Hero? Um, probably mm. my mum. Aww. Yeah, I, I mean, it sounds bad being my dad. My dad was like, my dad's like my idol. I look up to my dad. But my mum, without my mum, I'd be nothing like I'd Aww. be useless. You know, she's she put so me lovely. up during lockdown. She's put me up yeah, during lockdown. She? So she put she's put seven of us up during lockdown. So has she? Because all, all you know, me and my fiance, then you have got my brother and his girlfriend are here, and um, wow, and my sister and her boyfriend, and her boyfriend's in my band, so I can't get rid of him. So, it, but yeah, she's been an absolute. But, but you know, she since lockdown started, we've got our cats given birth to kittens. We've got six oh. cats, four dogs, and three goats. No. And they've all gone vegan apart from me. I may as well set up a vegan petting zoo. It's getting becoming a joke, to be honest. Oh, but yeah, goodness. she is my hero. She's an absolute legend, yeah. Oh, we love it. It's so funny when I ring my mum up. I'm like, Mum, she goes, what do you want? I'm watching Loose Women, Hayley. I haven't got time yeah. to speak to you. She loves it. And so um... I've been slated on that programme a few times, let me tell you. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, you're next song choice. Moving yeah. swiftly on. Uh, the Sound by the 1975. Good song yes. choice by this one. Um, because we're, um, they're from near where we live. Right. The 1975. And they're like the biggest band on the planet. I've seen them every one of their, con every one of their concerts when they've been in Manchester. And no one, no one really knows who they are still, really. Do you know what I mean? I find yeah. it really strange. Yeah. So they're just my favourite band at the minute. And they're, they're, they're incredible. And this like time, it. me and my me and my band perform this song, so uh, oh, okay. it's, it's a good one. Like it, well, it's from their second uh, studio album. Enjoy this, and we'll see you after. Now, the last song choice. I'm very happy about this. The Nolans. I'm in the mood for dancing. Love it. Yeah, it kind like of had to one. be, didn't it? You had to. Yeah, it's just one of them songs that I'm never going to get away from. So I may as well just embrace it now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and don't get me wrong, there's other Nolan's tunes I could have picked, but they're only, they, I mean, this is the main one, isn't it? It's, and it I can't is. believe, you know, we said about number ones earlier, this only got to number two, I think, or number three. No. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not I happy I about who, that. I forget who pushed him off number one. It was ridiculous as well, but. Um, How dare they? Or it was someone really big, like, if you don't mind getting pushed off number one, but I can't remember who it is. But this is one of them. We might, we don't perform it, but we go to sing it in our set. And the whole place oh. just erupts and you're like, God, this yeah. song's a joke. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's one of those songs that it just makes yeah. me happy straight away. So I am very happy to be playing out this song right now. Uh, but Shane, can I just say, it's been such a pleasure. You've made me laugh uh, from start to finish. The interview hasn't oh, been that no. bad, has it? No, it's been great. I've loved it. I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Big fan of the quick fire questions. I love all that. <laughs> We should have just done that for an hour. Yeah. Uh, but also to remind everyone to come and see your tour um, oh, yeah, with Ray Quinn. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, quite important. Again, yeah. that's, that's I the mean, important that is bit. like that's the reason I'm here. So. <laughs> we just got carried away <laughs> so, talking about me. Forget the tour. Talk about me. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So we're going to put the link on the screen. Uh, but Shane, thank you. We have really appreciated your time. It is Shane Nolan, everyone. Thank you very much, Hayley. Cheers, guys. Thank you.
Huge thank you, Shane Nolan. What a brilliant guest on tonight's show. And thank you to you at home for supporting the show. It really is very much appreciated. Thank you. Now we're going to leave you with that last song choice. The Nolans, I'm in the mood for dancing and I will see you same time, same place next week. Oh, tonight.